Hello, Gruz Scott. On this video, we're going to be installing an LC Engineering inline fuel pressure gauge on our 1997 Toyota 4Runner. So the kit comes with, of course, the gauge, um, a couple of fittings, some O-rings, some bolts, a uh, machined out piece. It didn't come with any fuel injector line, so we went out and bought some fuel injection line. And so we have that, we have a razor to cut it with, some Crytox grease for the O-rings, and then some good old Made in USA Teflon tape for this fitting. So um, I'll show you here in a second where it's gonna mount on the vehicle. So we'll swing right to that. Okay, the adapter piece goes right here. We're gonna take out this fuel pressure regulator, put the adapter piece in, put the longer bolts in, and all the accoutrements that go with it, like the O-rings, etc. And then we're gonna hook up a new piece of um, fuel line, and then we'll be ready to test this. It's pretty simple installation. Um, LC Engineering did not give us any torque specs, so we'll use some Loctite and we'll be very gentle. We don't want to over torque it. Um, and the reason we're doing this is we're thinking we might have a fuel pump issue. And so in order to do some diagnostics, we actually want to have a fuel pressure gauge. And then we can maybe figure out if it's um, the fuel pressure regulator or the fuel pump itself, or even possibly an inline fuel filter. But we replaced that only about 10,000 miles ago. so. We're really not sure yet where to look. So we're trying to do divide and conquer. And so we're gonna get this apart, put the new assembly on, and we'll be right back. Okay, so at this point we have the pressure regulator loose, and I've actually pulled the O-ring off of this. I just used a wire tie to slip it under the O-ring to pull it loose, because we're gonna put a new O-ring on. So the kit comes with two new O-rings, one for this and one for the other piece that goes into the engine block there. And we're gonna put some Crytox on those O-rings and assemble them, and then I'm gonna come right back. Okay, I've greased the O-rings, and the assembly just goes something like this. And then, it's a tight fit. This piece here is going to go into where the, this originally went, and then we're gonna bolt it into place using some um, thread sealant. So we'll get that done, and I'll come right back. So we finished the basic install. Again, these have just been snugged down probably to five or six inch pounds. Not much at all torque. Uh, we put some Loctite on them. Ran the vacuum lines, put a whole new fuel line in, um, put the clamps on. We've double checked our work. And we Teflon taped the joints for the uh, meter here. And so what we're gonna do here in a minute is we're gonna go ahead and turn on this ignition switch and we're going to see what the static pressure is and then we'll check the dynamic pressure and then that'll give us an idea of what's going on. Okay so the reason we had put this fuel gauge on was to try to troubleshoot an issue with rough engine idle and so we were concerned that the problem might have been a fuel pump or a fuel pressure regulator. Um, at this point we became very or pretty much sure it wasn't either one of those items because the spec for the fuel pressure at no vacuum is 38 to 44 PSI. And right now it's at 44 PSI. So we think that's good. And when it's running, it does go slightly higher, but this is a turbo system, so it's demanding a bit more fuel. Fortunately, by putting this on, it did allow us to diagnose the problem. And we found out a, we had a loose exhaust fitting um, post turbo. And so we were able to tighten that up and retune the ECU and um, uh, that actually has fixed the problem now. So really, this is a great item to have attached to your vehicle so that you can do some troubleshooting. And that's all there is to this video. Thanks for watching. Tschüss.